Well, Halloween is just six days away. If you haven't bought or carved your pumpkins yet, there's still plenty of time. Expert carver Lisa Briggs. Hello. Hello. Everybody here. has to have a claim to fame, right? <laughs> Where, where's mine? Oh, here no, you I don't have it. No. <laughs> So how do you pick the, the perfect pumpkin to carve? Well, if you're carving, I really like these little sugar pie pumpkins because they don't have a lot of ribs, um, and so they're smooth. The, the, the flesh is thin, so they're easy to carve. It's a little softer. Yes. Yeah. But, I love you know, these guys. Look at these guys. Yeah. And then you can make pies. And then you can make pies, yes. There you go. Um, but there are lots of really cool interesting colored pumpkins, pumpkins with like all kinds of warts and stuff on them. Those are not very easy to carve. They're really pretty and they're cool to mix if you're doing like a big display on your porch, but they're not easy to carve. Pumpkin carving pumpkins are made for a reason. Thin skin and the flesh is, you can get in there, but it's sturdy enough for the walls to hold up. So they're, they're grown to carve. Yes, yeah, really? there are just some that are just easier to carve. Now, what you normally do, it normally people take the top off to put the candle in. I do in. the bottom. You put the hole on the bottom, yes, right? Yes, I've been doing this for a while, and now apparently it's a hot thing on the interwebs. <laughs> <laughs> you're ahead of you're your time. time. You're the carving the expert. There you go. Yeah, I do that just because it's easier to set a candle. You know, you'd light a candle, and then you can just pop it over. Right. When, if I'm doing a design where it's sort of not pierced, then I'll usually put some kind of air holes along the top because you need some airflow. Okay. These guys, since they're sitting here and the bottom is the back and the nose is the front, then there's plenty of air that gets in here and these are great for tea lights and even like little battery operated tea lights. Yeah. You put we'll these in these. your trees. I do. I have a big giant oak tree in my front yard and I just set them I up love there that. so it's kind of kind of floating mm -hmm. oh that's great in the air so, so scary what's this going to be this is okay so i get inspiration from all kinds of places including somebody is driving around madison in some kind of delivery van that's white that has this weird very black graphic sort of swirly design and i was at a stoplight everybody i <laughs> took my phone out and took a picture so you can get inspiration for carving from anywhere i have in my trusty kit Look at here. these tools. This is quite the toolkit. I also like just Google images off the internet. And then as long as they are really black and white, you know something is carved and something is not carved. If you're having, um, here's a dragon. It's a good tattoo too. Yeah, it would be a good tattoo. <laughs> I have also taken them where you, you have the function to increase the contrast on a photograph. So then you can make a photograph that has all sorts of, you know, gradations, very black and white. But and then that's, then you just draw it on here. I just use a marker and you just draw it on and then I just start carving. So- And the trick is the tools. The tr I use linoleum cutters. I was talking, we have a new, um, a new uh, accounts guy, head of accounts at, at Bruce Company. He's from California, and he carved in L.A., and he's quite a carver, so he just started a few months ago. So I've never seen his carving, but um, he uses, uh, what did he say? He uses some uh, mixer, apparently, to clean them out. So you cut out the bottom. Oh, a hand mixer? A hand mixer, and you like... Oh, that's a good idea. Right, because one of the things that will make your pumpkins last longer is if you get all the guts out of it. Any like thing that's hanging like a seed or some of the filaments or whatever, that is a place for bacteria to, um, to sort of to start grow. to grow. So, so the key is to pick pumpkins that are solid that don't have soft spots, even if you say, oh, well, that's where I'm gonna put the mouth, I'm gonna carve that out. Once that rot starts to get in, then they just rot faster. And since you haven't carved all the way through the flesh, when you put a candle in this, it, it will glows. light, it'll glow it through, through the right. carving spaces. And I'll go in here with, you know, with this clay tool and sort of wherever I have this flesh removed, I'll make that thinner. The thinner the wall, the more light gets through. We are out of time, sir. Okay. <laughs> Great tips. Thank you. Thanks. Happy, Happy Halloween. Halloween. Yeah, I'll see you on Monday. I'll see so. you on the new show on yeah. Monday. All right. Thank you, Lisa. Good <laughs> to see you.